welcome back to my channel. Check out the wing. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so I barely do wings. This one's a little like crooked, but this one looks cute. So we're just gonna look like this. So welcome back to a Vlogmas day 10. We are gonna be doing a fun video today. So my, I've uploaded um, nipple piercing pros and cons. I've uploaded a belly ring or belly, what I put, navel. I'll put it right here. Um, that one did really well. So today we are gonna be doing the forward helix piercing pros and cons. So my forward helix is on both ears pierced and I will be going over some of the pros and the cons of having them. If anything, I'm just gonna start you off here. Um, I think the piercing in general is so pretty but I feel like there's more cons in this piercing than there is pros. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into it. This is not gonna be a long video. I will be showing you my ears like in the piercing and I will be explaining about the piercing process. Alrighty, so to begin, I would like to start with the pros really quick. So for pro number one, I would just say it's very pretty looking. It looks really nice on the ear. I have this one, I have a pink one in it. It looks really pretty and when you have your hair up and pulled back it this one you can't really see because it's pink but this side i think you can see it it looks really pretty and especially if you have like other piercings like if you have your conch pierced if you have you may you know maybe double holes on your earlobes if you have your trachis pierced it looks really gorgeous i've seen beautiful pictures like this one where you have like a full ear full of piercings and it's just really pretty looking so definitely that is the one and or like the best pro that there is about this piercing i am gonna have to be a buzzkill and say that is the only pro about this piercing um for me anyways if you have your forward forward helix pierced and you have tons of pros about it please let me know down in the comments what you love about it so much the only reason why I don't take them out is because, like I said, they just pretty licking when I have my hair up. And most of the time, I'm always wearing my hair up in buns. So, you know, I just love the way it looks. But I deal with the pain, okay? Like, beauty is pain, right? So, the first con that I'm going to have to say is really, like, uh, it bothers me a lot. I've had it pierced for well over maybe five, six months. Usually, my body... I don't ever reject piercings. I never have a problem with any piercings. And it's not that I have a problem with it. It's just that it hurts every time. Like, I either play with it or... Um, I probably shouldn't play with it. But, like, maybe when I lay down, if I lay down, like, a certain way, it kind of pushes into it. Or I um, take a shower and I roll my hair up in the towel and put the towel on my head. It pushes it in this one hurts right now more than this side and it's kind of really annoying because I don't want to have to feel pain in my piercing like I said I don't ever have problems with piercing but for some reason um, the forward helix is kind of a little bit annoying I'm not gonna lie being completely honest I would have to say that the, those two are the only pros and cons for my forward helix piercing um, like I said earlier, if you have any pros or cons that you have found in your forward helix piercing, please let me know down below. When I'm sleeping is really when I have the issue. So if you have any home remedies about that, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to, you know, because I don't want to take them off. I don't. They, they're so pretty. This one, okay, so I lost, I had the same piercing um, ring that I have in this ear and I had it on this ear, but... I was messing with it one day at work and the little ball fell off and I never found it. It's literally like the tiniest little thing. And then, so it was it was empty for quite a while. The piercing place that I got it done is over an hour and a half away. So I just never made the time to go out and go get a new one. So I used to have my nose pierced and I had some leftover nose hoops. And all I did was I improvised. I put the nose ring through and then I got the little back of an earring and I put I put a clear one and I put it behind it so that way it won't like slip off or nothing and it's worked. Here is a close-up of both ears. So this one. I 
hope that you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe to my channel and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Yeah.